Hi, I'm Jack Guttentag, the mortgage professor. I've been helping borrowers understand their choices in the mortgage market for over two decades. When shopping for a mortgage, borrowers tend to focus on interest rates and ignore the upfront fees charged by lenders. In the past, lenders exploited this tendency by offering low interest rate loans with excessive fees. Financial regulators responded to these predatory lending practices by establishing something called the APR. The term APR stands for Annual Percentage Rate. An APR is similar to an interest rate, but it includes the cost of a lender's fees. The purpose of an APR is to make it easier for you to compare the cost of two loans. Today, lenders are required to display an APR whenever they advertise a loan's interest. So you will invariably confront an APR when shopping for a mortgage. Understanding how an APR is calculated will help you save money when shopping for a loan. Your lender calculates your APR by combining the fees you will pay up front with the interest you will pay every month. It does this by distributing the fees evenly over the life of your loan. Only fees paid directly to your lender are included in the calculation of an APR. Third-party fees, such as appraisal fees and credit report fees, are not included in the calculation of an APR. The more upfront fees a loan has, the greater the difference between its APR and its interest rate will be. The APR is useful if you expect to hold your mortgage a long time or are shopping for an adjustable rate mortgage. When a lender calculates an APR, it assumes that the loan will run to term. So if you plan to hold your mortgage for at least seven years, the APR can be helpful. There are a number of cases where you're better off ignoring the APR. If you expect to sell your house or refinance your mortgage within seven years, the APR can be misleading. It may also be unwise to rely on the APR if you plan on applying for a loan with a rebate. Another case where the APR may not be useful is when you're shopping for a home equity line of credit. The interest rate on a HELOC changes regularly, so the APR may become outdated immediately after your loan begins. Thanks for watching. This video was brought to you by Monger, the fastest way to pay off your loan. Visit monger.com to discover how you can pay off your loan early. Or, for more great information, head over to mortgageprofessor.com.